Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making lemon verbena soap tonight, and I have not ever made this fragrance before. It says it is tangy yet smooth with no fuel or furniture polish notes, very clean and fresh for soap. It's an invigorating, refreshing aroma. So it's not supposed to accelerate or anything like that, so hopefully I'll have time to do some kind of a design inside. I'm going to be using a couple different greens, kind of a brighter and a darker, maybe mix them together. And I have a goldenrod mica and a little bit of brown. I'm not using much of this. This is just going to be for a little piping on the top. And I made these teeny tiny little lemons. Aren't they adorable? I thought they were so cute. And these are going to go on the top. And so I'm going to split my batter. I'm going to do a tiny bit of brown and then um, green, or green is a smaller container, and then I have uh, white and yellow in the larger. And not sure how I'm going to pour it yet, but I wanted yellow and white mostly inside with a little bit of green. So I'm just mixing up, making sure my kale and clay is all mixed in here. I usually do it a couple of times. I'll uh, heat up my oil and then I will um, so it's just slightly warm just to loosen the oils and then I'll use my stick blender to mix in the clay and then I wait and do my other stuff get ready and then I you know give it a quick stir before I add the lye which I'm gonna add now
to pipe the top of this and I just saved a little bit of brown. I have just a small writer tip in here and a leaf tip on the green. I'm just going to go ahead and this is probably going to look kind of weird but I'm just going to make almost like a lemon tree and I'm just going to do a small um, uh, what's it called? A tree trunk and then I'll be editing that out and then some branches which probably won't look great but I'm just going to do it kind of to give me a place to put the leaves and then the lemons <laughs> Welcome back. I am going to go ahead and cut this lemon verbena soap. And I was under the impression that lemon verbena was more of like a herbaceous, you know, had more like herb notes in it. But yeah, 
but it really doesn't. It's This is like a very fresh lemon fragrance, and it just kind of surprised me. Um, this was the design I was going to do for the fresh lemon soap, but when I smelled this, I mean, it is fresh lime, or lemon. It is probably the best lemon fragrance that I have used. And it's very strong still today. And I have three or four soaps sitting in here in my soap area to take to the curing rack. And this is the one, this one in the Forget Me Not, I can smell the strongest. Like just being in another room, I can smell them. So if you like a strong lemon fragrance, this one is perfect. And the swirls, I think, came out pretty. Um, I kind of ended up pouring it a little different than, I mean, I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, I didn't have a plan or anything, but um, I hadn't just poured and kind of swirled, however, in a long time. So I decided to just do do whatever. Um, I have been asked if I have an online store. I've asked, been, I ask and ask this all the time. And I just wanted to talk about it briefly. I do not have an online store. I did used to sell on Etsy a um, long, long time ago. And, and so I got off of Etsy and um, started selling mostly to customers that have already purchased my soap like in a shop and they wanted to reorder. And then it's turned into this huge thing. I mean, I get orders every day and I'm so, so thankful for that. Um, but I did want to say that I, um, my husband and I have talked about an online store many times and we even started to get one together. And I decided that I love the way I do it simply because I get to have contact with every single one of my customers. You know, if you go on a website and order, you, you know, place your order and the person ships it and that's it. And this way I talk to everybody. I have to because they, you know, I tell them how to order and then, you know, I still have contact with them and answer questions. That one's a really pretty swirl. Um... So that's why I keep doing it this way, and I think it works great, and I kind of wanted some feedback on that. If those of you for, who order from me, if you'd rather me do like a soap release instead of the way I do it, um, I kind of just wanted some feedback and see what you guys think about that. But that's my reasoning for um, just doing it how I do it. Um, I love talking to my customers. And this gives me a chance to do that. So, and it's it's worked this far, you know, thus far. So I'm just going to stick with it. But I did want some feedback if, um, of how people think, you know, it, it works for them or whatever. I've never had any complaints. Uh, so I just was curious. It does take a lot more time because I, I don't just get an order and ship, you know, ship it. Um, there's communication, and I really like that part of it. So I'm just cutting the samples now. Some of the little lemons come are coming off when I'm doing this one, but that's okay. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you all on my next video.